YouTube viewers, this is my fourth tutorial on CS6 Adobe Photoshop. And this time I'm going to be showing you the quick selection tool and the magic wand tool. Personally, these are my favourite tools in the whole uh, the whole of Adobe Photoshop, other than the filters, which we will probably get to in a different set of videos. But yeah, as I'm telling you all these tutorials, these are th this is uh, my favourite tool. Basically, the quick selection tool basically says what it is. It allows you to select things quickly. And if you are to uh, to change your tolerance levels, which you will, which normally appear up there, you can change the tolerance levels so that the colour that it stays on is close to the colour it starts on. So, if, for example, if your tolerance is on 100, it will just basically highlight everything, highlight whatever you drag over. But if it's on about 10, it will only do colours which are close to the black. So, for example, if I'm to deselect that. Oh no! Sorry people, now I've told you wrong. That's actually the uh, the magic wand tool that we'll come on to in a minute. But basically the quick selection tool yeah, just lets you uh, select things really quickly. Drawing around them. My, cur my mouse is a bit cockeyed. But yeah, it allows you to draw around them. And then basically, similar to all the other selection tools, you can delete it. If you want to, or you can move it around, you can cut it, you can do whatever you like. But yeah, that's the uh, quick selection tool. Control Alt Z to undo properly. The Control Z just does one space backwards, so that and then you press it again, it'll go one step forward. Right, the magic wand tool is your tolerance levels. Basically, for example, I select ten. Ten. All oh, that stuff looks fine. All these are unique for different things. Basically, you'll click, and that is actually really sweet because that's done what I wanted to do. The tolerance level of that is that low, it selected only the black. So if we delete it, for example, and deselect it, there's your magic wand. That's what your magic wand tool does. However, if we are then to change the tolerance up to about, say, 90, and we click, it'll select a lot more closer colours to that, and then we delete that. And then you lose, well, depends on what you're trying to do. But then uh, you get different results. But yeah, now I'm going to show you how uh, what these things do. So for example, let me put that back on, uh, put it on 5 actually, because 5 might be even closer. Add to section. Basically, for example, we select this. Then if we click this, and we want to select the letters, for example, it will add what you are selecting to what has already been selected. So, for example, if I was to select all these, I really can't be bothered to do them, but I'll just do them for fun of it. Oops, they're off. But yeah, if I want to select all them, then I want to delete again. It'll also, do oh, missed a few out, oh well. It'll delete a few of them, it'll delete whatever you've just selected again. Then, for example, if we want to subtract some stuff, yeah, I'll just subtract it, and then delete, and then it'll uh, thing it. And then your next one, which is what's this one called? Intersection. I'm not quite sure what this one does. Uh, what does this one do? I think this is just similar to the actual magic wand one. No pixels were selected. I don't, I'm not quite sure what that does, people. So I can't really help you with that one. But yeah, that's the magic wand tool and the quick selection tool.